Welcome to Tigner Adventures. This is David, and yep, we're still in Quartzsite, and we are at the big RV tent show in Quartzsite. They have over 500 vendors here, and a lot of these vendors, or at least some of them, are offering work camping things. So a little gig here, a little gig there. We're gonna go around and interview these uh, individuals. We also have a work camp video we did last year, so we'll link that in the description below that you can check out for those that maybe aren't here this year. But uh, we got some new ones and we want to kind of showcase them, just show you what they've got. And we got some old ones that have changed things up just a little bit. So we're going to put them all on the video today. Now this video will be long most likely. I'm going to break it up into chapters. The, uh, in the description you can click on the link if you want to look at a specific uh, vendor that you want to see what they have. You can just jump right to that. You don't have to watch the whole video. You can also speed it up or slow it down based on uh, what you want to achieve with the video. Now if you like this content please uh, subscribe and like this video. Get this information out to everybody. Uh, we want to provide this as a service for everybody that is looking for work camping. We're Guard One Services and what we do is we uh, offer opportunities to work uh, gate guarding down in the oil fields where we set you up with a, your fully self-contained RV. This is for couples. We do also have solos, um, but a couple will be on site and we bring you out a trailer with a flatbed and 550 gallons of fresh water on board, a 12 kW generator with 300 gallons of diesel fuel, and a 250 gallon auxiliary waste tank, which the company takes care of, maintains everything for you, not anything on your dime. You don't have to pay for any of that. And you just sit in your RV, we give you two iPads, and one person works 12 hours and the other person works the second 12 hour shift someone needs to be on site 24 hours a day, seven days a week for a 30 day minimum commitment and you just pop up with that iPad, go out and log in a traffic uh, truck or whatever when it comes in and then log them out when they come out. And you have a sensor inside your RV and when that sounds you can just uh, be alerted that they're there and then go out and, and uh, do the logging and that's about the basic gist of the job. And it's 175 base pay a day, which at the end of 30 days is $5,250. You are a 1099 employee, so you're responsible for your own taxes. But the job is super simple. And if after 30 days you don't like it, you're free to go. If you love it, you're free to stay. They're not going to run you off. And is this only in Texas or are they so other places? So we have gates in Louisiana, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Colorado. We don't have as many as we do in Texas, but um, we do have them. It's the Permian Basin in the west of Texas and then down through the central portion to the south in Texas. And you can make a request of where you want to be um, set up at, and if they've got a gate, they'll, they'll be more than happy to put you there. But basically, you're going to go where they need you, and they need guards all the time. Every single day of the month, every single month of the year, they're constantly drilling. We always need oil. And I'm going to direct you to Maria Lopez. She is head of HR, and she is who you would contact. You would tell her that you saw Bill and Darla at the RV show in Quartzsite, Arizona, and they will cover your security test, which you need to get for uh, State of Texas. It's a level two unsecured um, security guard certi certificate. It's a card, actually. And it's good for two years, and it is renewable. So you can come and go as you want. Uh, if you decide you're going to work one or two months and it's just not for you or you're tired, you want to take a break, you can take, you can take a month off or you can take a year off. You call back and say, hey Maria, we're ready to come back down. Do you have a gate for us? And if they do, they'll be more than happy to place you. Sounds great. Thank you. Hi there, so I'm Ginger, this is Kelly. Uh, we work for Express Employment. We're looking for people to work at the Sugar Beet Harvest in Michigan. Um, our season runs from October 20th to November 20th. We pay $20 an hour, just over $20 an hour. Uh, we pay for your campsite, and we pay a 20, I'm sorry, a 10% bonus if you co complete the harvest with us. 
Um, we're looking for people to work around the piling stations. We don't work in the we don't work in the fields. We work at the piling stations, and we're looking for about four to five people to uh, work around uh, each one of these piling machines. So uh, two people work in the back, and they're guiding in the trucks. Uh, one person works on top, and um, they're operating the piling machine. And then two people work in front. Uh, they're collecting beet samples because we need to check the uh, sugar content of each one of these beets. So um, we got two. Every, everybody all the time is cleaning. There's uh, beets flying everywhere. There's dirt flying everywhere. So um, you're in the elements for nine hours a day. Um, it could be windy. Could be rainy. Could be uh, 35 degrees. Could be 55 degrees. So, um, but we do pay twenty dollars an hour. So it's a great job uh, for a, a short-term gig. And then when it starts getting really cold, uh, because it's Michigan, uh, you can pack everything up and then head where it's nice and warm. Cool. So that's uh, 12 hour days. You're so we have nine and 12 hour shifts. We typically hire for nine hours. So it's nine hours. Um, you are standing on your feet and you're in the elements for nine hours a day. Pretty much you said too, at the end of the harvest, if you do the harvest, there's a completion bonus of 10%. So if you make four or five thousand dollars during the harvest, you'll get a four or five hundred dollar bonus check a couple weeks after the harvest, which definitely helps with us because we travel and it helps for gas and get, right. get you to the next destination. Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, what about? Uh, is it just all daytime work or nighttime work? Well, so um, once the harvest starts, the plants, uh, uh, the piling grounds usually run 24-7. There are a few that um, maybe close at 11 or 12, but uh, a lot of them work 24-7. So there's a uh, day shift, night shift. Uh, we, we pretty much work yeah. around the clock, yeah. I mean, you only work nine hours, but the, <laughs> the, 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 there's other people coming in at different shifts, yeah. So once they hit their 40 hours, then they start earning overtime? Yep, uh, after yes. 40 hours, it's time and a half, yep. And what if uh, it's raining or snowing or whatever and you can't work that day? So typically you are working that day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We um, work in the rain. Um, um, the high winds, we don't work. If it's really warm, if it's over 55 degrees, we don't work because they don't pull beets out of the ground when it's warm. The beets spoil faster. And if it gets too cold, if it, if it freezes, they don't work because they don't pull beets out of the ground while the temperatures are freezing. So you know, that's why we're in that slot between mid-30s and mid-50s that we're taking the beets out of the ground. And that's why we work so, there's so many farmers that are trying to get their beets into these pilot stations because they harvest other things too. That's why that four week window, there's, we, we, we work every day until the harvest is over unless it's a bad weather day. So if it is a bad weather day, uh, Michigan Sugar does allow us to come in for four hours. Um, you might be watching a safety video, you might be, um, some cleaning on something. Yeah, it might be cleaning a piling machine, one of these machines here. But um, you at least get some kind of you get, pay for You get that four day. hours, yeah. Um, and, it's, and it's optional. You don't have to do it. Like, if you don't want to come in, if it's 32 degrees, um, you don't have to. But they do offer you at least four hours to, to kind of um, help uh, get some money for that day. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Jake Hennessy, and I'm with Amalgamated Sugar. And we're here looking for work campers interested in working sugar beet harvest in Idaho. So where at in Idaho? So we're in southern Idaho, so all along the Snake River Plain, from the Oregon border almost to the Wyoming border. Yeah. And, and what time of year is this for? The, the meat of it is in October, but some of it in September, it can even go long into November, but mostly it's just the month of October. Okay, and um, do you guys, what type of jobs do you actually have? So there's basically two jobs there. There's operating the sugar beet piler, which is moving the machine, which doesn't really move that much. It moves by itself for the most part backing up trucks, unloading trucks on the machine, and then there's also somebody that's taking samples from the trucks as well of the beets that they send to a lab, tested for sugar and everything like that. Okay, so you just apply for, do you get to pick which job you want or? Um, not necessarily, you can kind of say, hey, you know, I've got certain limitations or I'd rather do this and that, but. Or I have the, this type of experience. Sure, or... for the most part, you know, I say most, um, managers was like people to know every job on the piler. Oh, okay. That way you can all give each other breaks and stuff like that. So you're probably going to know how to do everything. It's not like either one is very specific. Most of them are very, it's very similar. So the whole crew kind of works together. Okay. And how does the uh, pay work? Um, so it starts off just under 17 bucks an hour and um, overtime is time and a half. And everything over 40 hours a week is overtime pay. We run 12 hour shifts. so. After about the third day of the week, you're you're in overtime pay. So, about you guys three days go a week. 24 hours a day. Or? We don't. We so. just do a day shift. 
No night shift, so seven to seven is typical normal working hours. That's cool, and the cool thing is it's out in Idaho. You don't have to travel so far back east, right? That's right, we're in Idaho. It's much warmer than uh, the Midwest, and, um, and no night shift too, so you're not gonna run the risk of being put on a night shift. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. So we are hiring for three locations for the potato harvest, and this is an inspection type of job. It's a little bit different than the sugar beet harvest, if you've heard of that. What we're doing here is inspecting potatoes. We're looking for defects. They're coming on a conveyor belt, and there's several people at the conveyor belt, and they have knives and gloves on, and they cut off de defects and weigh the potato. Um, so the three locations they're hiring for are Park Rapids, Jamestown, North Dakota, and Twin Falls, Idaho. So they do put you up in a campground, and the campground is all paid for. It usually has water, electricity, and sewage at the campground. So it's a pretty good deal. And you got the pricing right here on these sheets right here in front of us. Yeah, so you can see the pay right here. Like this one here, if you show up every day on time, you get paid an extra $3 an hour. So it's actually $23 an hour. And then if you work the second shift, it's an extra $2 on top of that. Uh, so that's that's how you get to $25 an hour. Cool, so when you talk about shifts, what kind of shifts are you talking about? So these are eight to 12 hour shifts. Um, we did this one last year and we found ourselves working a lot more eight hour shifts than 12, but they were extremely flexible. Just a good company to work for. If you said you need more hours, uh, they would let us work over to the next shift and get pick up those extra hours. Great, thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. My name is uh, J.W. Leedy. I'm the uh, East Coast Manager for American Land and Leisure. Leisure. We're out of Salt Lake City, uh, Pleasant Grove, Utah. We represent the U.S. Forest Service in a lot of our campgrounds uh, that we maintain for the Forest Service. Uh, we, we are located in nine different states. We've uh, got uh, operations, uh, uh, as you can see back here, we got in West Virginia, Kentucky, uh, Washington, Oregon, uh, Utah, and then back over here, we got California, Colorado, Florida, and Michigan. That's the nine states we're in right now. We've been in as many as 12 states throughout the, the uh, number of years. We've been in business for uh, 16 years and uh, have been uh, uh, providing uh, great uh, uh, campground uh, uh, service and programs for the U.S. Forest Service. Okay, so they, are they hosts or are they other things besides we have, just hosts? Or? Yes, we have several positions within. It's uh, management positions. We have uh, uh, PRCs, which are, are purchasing and, uh, and take care of payroll uh, positions. We also have, uh, we all have facility lead positions and we have uh, host positions uh, within these uh, various campgrounds. Okay. Right, now, right now we have over, uh, right now we have, we, we're working in a, a over uh, uh, 90 some campgrounds uh, throughout the United States. So this also provides a place for them to park and while they're working and? Yes, sir, the, uh, the job is uh, based on uh, whatever the minimum wage is per state. Uh, we usually uh, uh, meet, at least meet the minimum wage. And in addition to, they, where they're provided with water, electric and sewer and 70% of our campgrounds. Some are primitive campgrounds, which some, some of our uh, folks uh, request, uh, but most are, uh, we provide water, uh, electric and sewer, and we also provide at the same time, we provide uh, we provide a golf cart or uh, necessary trucks uh, and equipment, uh, whatever is required for the different positions. Cool, so each state, the rate's gonna be a little differently, uh, different than whatever, and yes. you just pick the campgrounds or whatever, you have a whole list, right? Right, of, right. Of things available. Do you have a website they can go on to look at yes, that? Sir. Or? Yes, sir, we have a, a website. It's AmericanLL.com, which is our website, uh, listing all our jobs. Uh, usually in the uh, uh, November time frame, we start uh, uh, trying to recruit for our positions for the upcoming season. Uh, this year we've recruited uh, over 400 positions, so we have 400 and I think about 426 people working with us this coming summer. Great, thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, yes sir. Well, my name is Tammy Womack and I uh, represent Express Employment and we have the contract to provide employers for American Crystal Sugar Company in the North Dakota, Minnesota, Red River Valley area. So we bring up roughly 840 work campers every year to help us with a harvest. 
And the reason we need work campers is because we only uh, can harvest beets during a certain amount of time, certain temperature range, and we need a lot of people in, a short, in just a very short amount of time. The areas that we need people do not have a lot of housing. There are not a lot of hotels. There's just not a lot of places up there for you to stay. So that's why work campers are the perfect match for the sugar beet harvest. Now what we do is have you work at what we call piling sites. It's sort of like a receiving station. So you're not working in the fields. The growers uh, load all their beets up into a truck. They bring them into this piling station. And your job is to help guide those trucks in, uh, give them back their field dirt, take beet samples and keep the pad clean. And occasionally we'll have a shutdown and you'll have to, to clean the machine. The reason this is such a good work camping gig is because it's a short time frame and a good payoff. So you can make an average of $4,300 for about two weeks worth of work. We do, however, ask for an entire month commitment, the month of October, because like I said earlier, you can only pile beets during a certain temperature range. So it can take a month to get two and a half to three weeks worth of work. We pay you roughly $19 an hour to start with, and you make eight hours of that every day. The good thing about our site is you then get four more hours of overtime, so time and a half, and that's every day. Then on Saturday, you're gonna get time and a half for all 12 hours. Sunday, you're gonna get double time. So that's a lot of extra money and extra incentive there. We do work 12 hour shifts, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. or 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. And uh, we work uh, just in windy weather. It can be cold, it can be warm, it could be misty rain. So you're outside. The hardest part of this job is being able to stand on your feet for 12 hours and handle those elements. But if you layer and, and have the proper clothing, you can do just fine. Now, some of you are probably saying, what is a sugar beet? A sugar beet is processed by the sugar company after we harvest them. They, they, they pile them in these piles. They pull from them for the next nine months and they make sugar, just like what's in chocolate and anything else that you eat. Sugar is sugar. It's no different than sugar cane sugar, same, same makeup. So, um, why should I come, you say? Like I said, quick money short amount of time. We give you a full hookup campsite. If for some reason we don't have full hookups, we'll pump you out. Um, the money is good. We have another thing in our district called stay pay. So if for some reason we can't work, because remember, go back to the weather issue. Uh, if it's too hot or too cold, we're gonna pay you four hours just to stay home so that you'll stay there and wait for the weather to change. So you could end up staying home two or three days. If, you, if we have a harvest where you've worked seven or eight straight days, you're hoping we have a weather shutdown because you're getting tired. Um, the end of harvest, we do have a bonus if you complete everything and you do your, you know, you do everything you're supposed to. We have a bonus program. So right before Christmas, you'll get 5% of whatever you made during main harvest, one October on. And then every year after that, you'll get 10%. So overall, you're making just roughly $4,300. Then you're going to get that 5% uh, bonus the first year, which is 200 and something. The second year would be 400 and something. And you're getting the stay pay. And you're getting your full hookup campsite. If you have any questions, you can go to our Facebook page, The Unbeatable Experience. And there's a place where it says apply now. Or you can go to unbeatableexperience.com. That'll take you right to a place where you can uh, do your application. And, um, or you can call 888-791-6738. That's the Unbeatable Experience phone number. Right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So my name is George and um, I'm with Aramark Destinations. And essentially we're here at the RV show to recruit work campers. We are concessionaires in the national parks and we are looking for work campers to work the season. Season usually runs from April through October and any, or any portion thereof. And we have some beautiful parks and we have spots for RVers that want to come and work. And so it makes for a, a great summer experience. 
So I see over here on the right, you got this uh, pictures of all the states. I'm guessing the green is all the states you're in. That's correct. We're in a lot of states in the west. We have a few spots in the east, but mostly in the west and mostly national parks. Okay. So how does the, the pay changes per state or location? And it's going to vary by location and job, obviously. Okay. So if they're interested, then how do they... Well, we have a website that, um, that with a QR code. That website is going to have all our listings, and they, they're kept up to date. So it'll show you the different parks that we have, as well as the different jobs within each park. Okay, great. Thanks right. very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lou Axt. I'm the Rides Operations Manager at Adventureland Park in just outside Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, we're an amusement park, water park, hotel, uh, bar, sports bar, and restaurant, and we're located on almost 200 acres. For 27 years, we've hired work campers to come stay for free in our campground and work with every hour paid in the amusement park. You, at, you are receiving $14 an hour for starters in most departments, and we just ask for a commitment that you're willing to work up to 32 hours per week during your stay as a work camper. We incentivize to arrive early. If you arrive by May 18th, you receive a $400 arrival bonus. And if you were to stay to the end of the season around Halloween, we'll also give you a $400 departure bonus. The RV park is a starred RV park, so it's a very nice RV park located just a five or 10 minute walk from work in the amusement park. And all your, your utilities are included, uh, which of course is electric, water and sewer. Um, we also do have many van dwellers that come to work at Adventureland and we have many families because we can employ those 14 and older. Uh, we certainly hope that you'll consider Adventureland for work camping for 2024 and hope to see you in Iowa. We're the Buffalo Bill Village Resort in Cody, Wyoming and then the ranch at U Cross in uh, Sheridan, Wyoming area. We hire work campers at both locations. Okay. And uh, how does that, is it, these are all the positions that you have right here that this are... This is the positions that we're currently hiring for this summer. Uh, we have more positions than that. Uh, we hire uh, at the uh, Cody location, we have two hotels and 86 cabins. And so we have everything from maintenance to front desk to housekeeping, laundry, gift shop, restaurant positions. Uh, we have a work camper only campground on site and that's part of the compensation for our workers in addition to their hourly wage. Uh, there's end of season bonuses and a fuel reimbursement bonus to get to Cody. Because it's so far away. <laughs> yeah, for, most people are wintering in the south so it's a little further to get up north to Wyoming. But. Cool. At our ranch, we have um, uh, it's a little smaller operation, and it caters to motor coach tour groups coming in and out of the Black Hills and Yellowstone. Uh, so we have work campers come and do maintenance, um, serving, bartending, uh, a little bit of office work. We have a few positions there. We our campground there has eight spots, so we're a little bit more limited. Great. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. My name is Joe Hafinger. I'm one of one of the RV resort managers in Yuma at Sundance RV. This is my co-manager, my wife, Lorna. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, we wanted, wanted to uh, share the message with you that uh, cal -Am has 12 resorts across the state of Arizona, and, uh, and we do em employ a lot of work campers, and, so, and we're still looking for some work campers. And so if you're interested in that, call Lorna. They can call any of the Calam resorts that they're specifically interested yes. in, right? You guys are representing um, Sundance RV Resort specifically, but there are two resorts in Yuma. Yep, Yuma, you can call, um, there's Fortuna de Oro, and so you can call um, Valerie or Greg, um, or you can check in with jo um, Joe and I at Sundance. Um, just call the resort and then you can, um, even in the ones in Mesa and uh, Tucson and Surprise, and they can let you know if they have any spots available. We do have a three night stay. If you want to come out and check out um, Fortuna um, or Sundance down in Yuma, come down to the Sun, 
check us out. Um, this is a perfect way to um, get into the park and check it out, see if you that's where you would like to work or um, be involved in the activities or anything like that. We'd love to we'd love to have you. So is this a timeshare presentation they got to go to for the three nights? Nope. <laughs> you just come no. down. We always just say you just come down, plug in, and start having fun. Check out the check out. Our that's parks. the only requirement you is you have to have fun. Yeah, you don't even take a credit card or anything, right? You just, no. They just check in and nope. check in. do their yep. thing and yep. have fun. And yes. Make sure you call ahead so you have a spot. So a typical work camp job lasts how long? Uh, typically the season is from September or October to April. Um, if you're coming in at a different time period, we can check that out, see if that's available. But um, So typically six months is the best because you want to be, you want to have people there working, cleaning things up before people arrive. And then everyone typically takes off towards the end of March, and then they hang around. Work campers work till about the middle of April, trying to clean everything up and store everything for the summer, right? That's correct. That's correct yeah. Everyone wants to uh, vacate Arizona in the summer. They don't want to be around 120 degrees. It's not yeah. that bad. It's not that, it's bad. Not that bad. And you guys are from Montana, Montana. so if you're saying so, that, it must not really be that bad. So it's or you still just got easy. acclimated and you no. don't care anymore. No. <laughs> no, it's still easier than going through a Montana winter, the Yuma summer. So. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> well, that finishes our work camping series on this video. Again, we have our video from last year. I'll link it here in the on the screen and also in the description below uh, that you can check out and everything. Uh, again, we're the last interview here was uh, Sundance Resort and Cal Amory things. We've got this uh, three-day pass that you can, or three nights that you can stay at Cal Am. There is actually no obligation at all. So check that out. That's where we are work camping this year. We've actually finished. This is our fourth year of work camping at that resort. So it's worked out really well. Work camping is a great way to help you out as far as financially giving you some place to uh, park, especially during the winter time. So thanks for coming along. Hopefully we'll see you down the road somewhere. And if not, then maybe on our next video. So take care.